I've never had a good relationship with my father. I've spoken about this briefly in one of my Journey series videos. I went a long time without speaking to him and I had no, I didn't, I, I had no, I didn't want to. I didn't, it didn't bother me. I was good. As I got older, I got to the point where I said to myself, you know what? I don't feel the same way that I used to feel. I, I pretty much let go of all that frustration and anger that I had towards him. And I said to myself, you know what? Maybe the way he, that he was or the way that he is, maybe it's because of the things that he, the way he grew up. Maybe he, he was dealing with his own issues and demons. When you're young, you don't have a comprehension of that. You can only process what is being given your way. You're not old enough to, or mature enough to understand the whole scope of life and that if your parents or whoever, even a bully, if they're a certain way, there's probably a reason for it. Maybe they're dealing with things. Maybe they have their own issues. So as I got older, I started to realize that. And I started to look at things differently and it made me say, okay, clearly he had some issues and Maybe I should, I, I wanted to re-get to know him and, and try to find out what those issues were. Try to get a better understanding and perspective of him. And then if I can understand him, maybe I can understand myself better. So after years and years of just thinking that and, and, and not even admitting that to anybody, I finally came, I, I bumped into him one day. And I walked up to him and, 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 and spoke to him. We had a, a brief conversation. It felt good. We both was happy to see each other. It had been a long time since we seen each other or spoke. And we, I agreed that I would stop, back, stop by and see him. Now, the, it, the problem was, once I left, I felt good with seeing him. I did want to see him again. But I still had these reservations and I, I was dealing with these things with myself. I still wasn't, um, what's the word? I wasn't comfortable with, with doing it. To make a long story short, not too long after I saw him and I kept putting off to go see him again, he passed away. So I never got that opportunity to really reconnect with him and, and ask the questions that I wanted to ask. I didn't have the, the, the opportunity to get to know him. And there was a lot of things that was very, very, very important to me. And, and, and the one thing that I kept saying over the years was, I don't want a situation to pass where this man passes away and then I don't have the opportunity to get the answers that I need. And because I was, again, I can't find the word, but because I was so hesitant to go see him and speak to him, I missed that opportunity. And that's something that I'm gonna have to live for. I'm, I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life. I'm going to, there's a lot of things that I needed to know about him. There's a lot of things I needed to know about myself that I'm never gonna get these answers. There's nobody else that can, that can provide me with these answers. So, the point in me giving you this long drawn out story of myself is not for you to feel sad or to feel pity on me, but it's just, I really want you to know from a personal perspective, do not let time pass. Do not let situations pass despite your frustration, despite your anger with somebody. Do not let time pass where you lose it and you can never rekindle that relationship with somebody. You can never get the answers that you wanted to get. You can never say the things that you wanted to say. Do not let that pass. And I've been telling different people, I've been telling people that a lot recently. I know a lot of people who have issues with their parents, issues with their siblings. And again, I can't tell you, don't be angry. I cannot tell you to just let it go, whatever the situation is, because I hold on to stuff. I, I can't not tell you. <laughs> Don't do it, but I can tell you from experience that you, you, you need to try. There's bugs out here, excuse me. <laughs> but you, you really need to try and, and do not let that pass you by because it's going to haunt you if you lose that opportunity. So I know a lot of you can relate to that on some different levels. So I don't feel like I need to say much more. Just, just think about it. Just think about how deep that is 
Think about how real it is. You do not want time to pass and you lose that opportunity. Think about it.